One of the things that I really dislike about having to order visual fields for patients is that they can be unreliable and that can make clinical decisions tough, especially when you're trying to see if there's progression of glaucoma or if that new visual field defect that you see is actually legitimate. Here's a short clip from our visual field video in our course. Cloverleaf on the left-hand side, sometimes you'll see this cloverleaf uh, pattern and what's happening is the patient stopped soon after starting the test. So they started it and then they got sleepy. This is a perfect example of what a cataract looks like on a visual field defect. What you're gonna see that total deviation, you're gonna see the overall sensitivity reduced. Um, even looking over there on the right hand side, you'll see general reduction of sensitivity. Why? Because that light is coming in and it's hitting that cataract. And so that patient is just overall has a reduction in their sensitivity um, of their vision. Um, an inverted cataract, okay, this is called an inverted cataract, and an inverted cataract means on the pattern deviation you have more spots than the actual total deviation. You'll see on the top left, if you look at false positives, you'll see that the patient had false positives 36%. Um, so you'll see that this patient was trigger happy there, um, but the inverted cataract is, like what I said, greater number of points in the pattern deviation compared to the total deviation, and you're going to see... Um, this patient typically having high false positives, and this is a trigger happy patient. This is another example here of a patient who has more spots on the pattern deviation compared to the total deviation. But interesting enough, if you look at uh, false positives, 0%. Okay, so false positive, just one indice that can tell us if somebody is trigger happy. And this is another one here. Patients, doctors, right, can misdiagnose glaucoma for PRP. So you can have a patient who gets PRP and now has all of these defects. So it can be tough, right? If you have a patient who has PRP, you want to get a baseline visual field and then you want to follow them to see if they're continuing to lose vision. Once PRP has taken place, the patient should not continue to lose vision. If there is progression, then that would be glaucoma. It's really easy to look at this picture and just be like, yep, that's glaucoma, let's go ahead and start treatment. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. that's from the PRP. Okay, now they hey guys, I hope you enjoy the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.